Yeah, yeah it was short. I mean, I, I, honestly, I wasn't, wasn't going to play. <laughs> But, you know, I got on the bus and all the fans were kind of, I felt really, really awful about it. I felt like I got a bus up enough to get out there and play. So, yeah. What's the challenge of that when, you know, another fan base wants to see you, right? Like, every fan base does at this point. So how do you balance that, you know, I want to play tonight versus I don't want to injure myself? Yeah, it's just, you know, you're out there and try to, you know, just try to do, do what you can. You know, get nice and loose and, you know, play a quarter and then kind of rest the second quarter and try to come out third quarter and get loose again play another quarter. And uh, just get what you can. How does it feel now, and what do you think about tomorrow? Okay, man, it's a little sore. But, you know, I played about 24 minutes tonight. So, uh, you know, tomorrow I should I'll definitely be ready to go. I mean, those cities I'm going to go to once, so I'm just ready to go. Yeah, I know we've know we been talking a lot about Russell and Randall, but uh, what, what have you seen from Larry Nance's developments, particularly? You know, I like the way he's been developing. I mean, he's really been working on this game quite a bit, working on the shot quite a bit. And, uh, you know, you saw tonight, he trusted me, right? I mean, he was taking shots, taking those opportunities when they were there. And um, extremely active. And I thought he looked strong. Kobe, uh, what would Kobe 24 tell Kobe number eight coming into the league? Um, uh, yeah, just uh, you know, it, it's hard to tell somebody a player at that age to, to understand compassion and empathy. <laughs> and uh, but that that's that would be my advice. That tends to come with time. <laughs> you always say how Tony Allen was your toughest defender. Do yeah. you still feel the same way? Oh, no question. No question about it. What makes him special? Uh, you know, he's fundamentally extremely sound, uh, long arms, very athletic, and uh, you know he does his homework. He does his homework. He's old school. He say he watch film. He'll, he'll know where you want to go before you go. And um, I enjoy competing against him. I just, uh, just felt he was fantastic. Kobe on media day, I asked well, everybody, all your teammates, what their favorite Kobe moment was. And Lou Williams said it was when you didn't flinch when Matt Barnes did that thing in the inbounds <laughs> pass. Uh, do you, what are your recollections of that? And I know you like Matt. You saw him uh, before the game. You yeah, saw his kids and everything. But what, what are your recollections of that play? Well, I mean, I, you know, I just, you know, I, you know, he's crazy, but he's not that crazy. <laughs> so I, I didn't bother flinching about it. But, okay, were you expecting it to happen, though? Because when you, it seems like even if, if you do it, your eyes almost sometimes. No, it was just a split second. Yeah, like I, you know, I processed it pretty quickly and I realized I wasn't going to do it. Um, I mean, we laughed and joked about it a lot when we played together. What, what does he say about it? Say, how the hell are you just not going to flinch? Mm -hmm. it's, it's human nature to flinch. I said, dude, you're crazy, but it's not that <laughs> crazy. And um, but he's, he's been a good friend of mine for a long time. Do you remember what was going through your head with it? Uh, that was funny. <laughs> I did. I thought it was fun. Do you like seeing uh, his kids were here as twins? Is it is it fun for you to see? You know, they were babies. Obviously, oh, it's amazing! Ago. It's amazing to see them and uh, um, get a chance to give them a hug and you know, marvel at how much they've grown. And uh, you know, basketball players and baseball players and soccer players. And it's just great to see them.